Hello and what is going on today everyone, Tomcat here and welcome to some Forza Horizon 3 drifting gameplay where we're going to be talking about some specifics that have been answered by a Forza employee on the forums as far as some of the customization items go that people have been asking about like, you know, decals on windshields and windows and multicolored wheels, things like that and I, I really wanted to cover this because I feel like it would clear up a lot of confusion around this subject. So, the original post by, uh, by, a, by a guy on the Forza forums called Mike Cycle, uh, with two E's at the end, um, he says, uh, I believe it's time we got an overhaul on the Forza visual customization has remained largely unchanged since I started playing in Forza 3, which, to be fair, it has changed a lot more than, than large, it, it's not... It has changed more than he's letting on here, but we'll keep reading. Um, he says, it's time to add more options. The wide bodies and a few extra wheel choices were nice, but nothing drastically different. I think it's time we saw more options for wheels. Adjustable track width, which is coming. And they actually, they showed that in the stream. So I wonder if this guy didn't watch the stream. But uh, changing the wheel offsets, blah, blah, blah. Um, neons, uh, more aftermarket bumpers. I assume he's British because he says bonnets and boot lids, etc. He also says big country labs wings for all cars. Now, that one's a weird one because I wonder why I specifically pick big country labs. I mean, you've got all sorts of different wing manufacturers like, like say for example, uh, APR, Voltex. Big Country Labs is there, but, I mean, APR and Voltex you see a lot more. Um, if you're talking more like on the, I guess, aesthetic side, you've got Battle Arrow. Uh, you've got the, actually... You've got, and I know some people are like, oh, the Street Faction wings are just aesthetic. No, 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 no. They actually work. They've proven to, they, they have been proven to work. And uh, I, it, trust me, when the, the wing, we actually had a, an issue with mine at this last track day. We had to take it off. And wow, we actually really felt a big difference uh, on track compared to my car having it and not having the wing on the back. So anyways, um, that's beside the point. Now, he also says paintable roll cages, proper racing seats, etc. And here is the response from John Knowles, the uh, Forza employee. Now, he says, we've added the track width option uh, for Forza Horizon 4 for around 150 cars or so. Um, he said, the Torx Stallion is exactly as it would as it would be sourced for like from the real you know the real thing um and he don't he, he says don't expect don't expect us to change the car in the new game every time the owner makes a modification to the car so that's kind of a it's kind of an interesting point because when they capture a car to put into forza it's kind of like he said it's kind of like a frozen in time moment or a snapshot in time uh, as he says so i can understand where he's coming from because it's like that the way that car was exactly transplanted into forza now he also says um there are a lot of options that they know he says that we know you'd like us to add um like window decals paintable brake calipers multi-piece wheel painting uh to name a few of the most commonly requested he says with everything we do there are considerations that need to be made with priority schedule um they say priority schedule budget technical risks uh licensing download size and so on he says, when you have hundreds of cars, these challenges multiply. Um, just one new feature applied to even 100 cars creates the potential for hundreds of new bugs to fix. Uh, for ex fix for, oh well, for example. He says, we tackle them as we can. Uh, wide body kits, rally, and hot rod conversions um, came to uh, Horizon 3 as well as 30 new wheels. And in, and in Forza Horizon 4, they're adding more wide body kits new off-road conversions, and uh, the track width option, drift suspension with extreme steering angle and camber, as well as drag tires, which makes sense because you have drag strips in Horizon 4. He also says, as well as an entirely updated suspension simulation that applies to all cars, making them feel much more connected to the road. We are listening, wink face. So that is the post, or his reply to the post as it reads. Now, there's definitely a lot of interesting things in there. I don't know if they've talked about drag tires much. They haven't really pushed the idea that they're that they are bringing drag tires into Horizon 4. Um, it makes sense, obviously, because of the drag strips that are in the game. But I don't know how many people actually know that drag tires are coming. So if you are curious as to drag tires uh, as to whether or not they were coming, uh, you can rest assured that they are. I'll leave a link in the description below to where you guys can check out this particular forum post uh, to where John Knowles replied to. Um, to Mike Cycle's uh, forum comment, I guess. But that is actually, that, that's one of the biggest things is that like, so 
So the drift suspension, and obviously that's, I think, the, bi the big, most anticipated thing. But I think what's actually interesting is the fact that since the drift community is so much more vocal than the drag community, the drag community really hasn't been seeing, you know, alt we haven't been hearing the drag community being talked about, but rest assured they are actually doing something for the drag community, um, that being, you know, the drag tires and the drag setups, and I'm assuming that this new type of suspension simulation will make it much easier for drag prepped cars to hook up, because I know that was a big, uh, big deal for a lot of people in Forza Motorsport 7 because a lot of people were like my drag cars cannot hook up I mean even they they even say that they had rear-wheel drive drag cars in Forza Motorsport 6 that hooked up just fine whereas their drag cars in Forza Motorsport 7 just blow the tires off and spin so hopefully this new simulation that makes this simulation model that supposedly makes the cars feel much more connected to the road improves the idea of weight transfer and and car to suspension to tire to road contact because that relationship is very important and the feeling of that relationship is very important by the way right here I did not realize I was gonna do like a perfect backflip I was like I was like completely blown away that it did it like perfectly straight I was very amused but back to what I was talking about before I think the relationship between the car the suspension the tires and the road is extremely important because that's what you feel in real life that's what you feel in real life when you're just driving down the highway that's what you feel in real life when you're doing a track day that's what you feel in real life when you're doing a mountain run you feel those things in all sorts of different aspects from whether you're cruising over to um, you know like ripping so that's one of the biggest things that I think needs, I mean, needs improvement is that connection and the feeling of that connection uh, feeling true to life. So I think that they're definitely making some good moves here uh, to, to provide that feeling of that feeling of connection, because if you don't feel connected, you don't feel immersed. And if you don't feel immersed, the game becomes less fun. And when the game becomes less fun, you go off and play something else. So it's important for them to keep you engaged and keep the players engaged. And I think this is a really good way to do it. And especially the fact that they're focusing on the driving dynamics rather than just trying to pump the game full of new features and ignoring the gameplay. I really think that focusing on the gameplay itself and making improvements to gameplay that's already very, very, very good is a really brilliant idea. And it's it shows that they really not only care about the game, but they care about the player base and they care about how the player base feels when when they drive these cars they're not going oh we have a good physics model we'll leave it as is and just try to pump more features at the game no they're never satisfied with this physics model so they're like okay we have this physics model it's good people like it but we're not going to leave it at that we're going to keep improving and improving and improving and improving um and and trying to pull as much connection and driver feedback out of this physics system as they can and i have endless amounts of respect for that so if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the topics that we discussed today, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. Share this video with your friends if you want them to see these new announcements. And subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I'll see you all next time. Talk to you guys later. If you guys would like to grab some merch, link is in the description.